Hello everyone, uh, this is Mike Henderson, author of the novel Self-Portrait of a Dying Man, amongst others, uh, which you can find on my website. Uh, I have uh, decided to do a series of tutorials on how to typeset a novel using Scribus. And the reason is, in the self-published world, one of the things that we take a lot of flack for is that our novels are not properly typeset so they look amateurish. Uh, to me the object in being a self-published author is to uh, try to put out as professional looking of an uh, object as you can, product as you can. And that includes doing a good job of typesetting. Now a lot of typesetting, many people tell you that it can't be done in a word processor. I don't think that's true. I think you can do a very decent job in a word processor these days. But I find this program to be very flexible. I honestly had a, a hard time at first because I didn't really understand how to work it. That's why I thought it'd be helpful to have a, a series of videos like this. I actually downloaded it a few times and then deleted it because I, I just found it, uh, um, what the right word is, sort of uh, scary to use. I couldn't, I couldn't get past uh, some of the... Uh, ideas. One of the ideas is that it, this is not a word processor, so if you think that this is just a different way of doing word processing, uh, you're wrong. You can enter text in here, you can type as though it were a word processor, but it operates a completely different way. So that's one thing. And honestly, once you, ma once you master a couple of uh, basic uh, tools, probably three or four things if you need to know that, uh, then it's quite simple to use. Um, now, a couple of disclaimers. Uh, for one thing, this program is free, Scribus, so there's no money in this for me. I'm not doing this to sell anything. Uh, don't, I'm not selling the program and, and, you know, whether you buy any novels or what, I, I don't care. Uh, although it'd be nice, but that's uh, not the point to it. Um, it's... Uh, the other thing is that I am not an expert on all facets of using Scribus. So I know what I need to know to do the um, text of a novel. How to set it up, you know, how to do the margins and all of that. And how to export it into um, uh, PDF format. Which is what the object is. You set it up here and as we will learn to do. And then um, you get in PDF and then you, you can upload it PDF to um, create space or wherever you want to put it uh, for paperback. This is not necessarily the uh, program to use if you just want to put it on an ebook. You don't really need this because ebook to a large degree does what it's going to do uh, by itself. So um, once you learn how to use this, which is insert text, um, edit the text, because as I said, this is not a word processor, so you can edit text, you can enter text here, but in order to edit or to change the font, you have to use a different part of it. And um, how to insert things, and how to create and use master pages. The master pages is really the secret to this whole thing and we will learn how to do that as we go through it. So, um, because we to get the effect here of uh, whoops, the right hand and left hand page, um, which are different in a novel, if you look at any novels, one, th one thing that will help you greatly is if you actually study how another novel is done. So take, in particular, take a trade paperback and see how they did the typesetting and how they do the page numbers and how they do the material at the top and how they do the front matter. And we're going to talk about that a little bit. So, you know, we've got title page and, you know, where does it start? It starts on the right and all of that. The other thing is I'm not an expert typesetter. Um, typesetting is a time-consuming and tedious process. And probably for around 500 bucks you can pay a guy to do it. And I'll put a link in the uh, comments section 
for a man that I used to do my novel, The Beast in Venice, which came out brilliantly, and he's, he's great to work with, and uh, very responsive, and does a very fine job. Um, if you don't have the money, you can do it. You just got to realize that it's going to take you several days to go through and, and make it look clean and, and uh, easy text flow. For example, that's one of the things we're looking for. You see how this is all very evenly spaced. It's uh, block text, so it's um, uh, justified on both sides, and it, there are no odd-looking spaces. Uh, except to the extent that I have down here. What I'm going to do with demonstration, I'm going to show you how to get rid of some of these spaces. Um, and that's the object, is to make it look clean and um, perfect. But you're not going to, well, not perfect, but clean and at least uh, more professional than it would otherwise. Um, so you're not going to, I'm not here to turn you into a typesetter, but I'm here to show you how to use this to do a, as good a job as you can on it. So um, that's that. Um, if you have any uh, comments with these, go ahead and make it. Um, find any problems or issues or defects or something that uh, isn't made clear, let me know. Um, I'm probably not the most articulate um, uh, speaker on YouTube, but I try to um, do a decent job of it. So uh, that's it. Um, uh, if, you, if, we, if you're doing these, uh, watching these videos and you think you're getting something out of it, go ahead and subscribe because I'm, I'll, I'll probably always be adding to it. And, um, and you'll get notice of when and something else comes out. So uh, take it easy and uh, go ahead and take a look at part one, how to set up your uh, novel. Bye.